my my stance on on VTubing and the VTubing community overall is um or like creating content as a VTuber even. Like my stance is on that that your content is not being a VTuber. Your content is the content you're making with an avatar. Like your avatar is being used to just like a face, just like to be able for a chat to see your emotions and not use a camera. It's just to show yourself more or less. But it's not the main focus. It shouldn't be the main focus. Uh, it's all about the law. The laws? Laws can be really sick. Laws can be really sick, but people will make laws and then never like implement it at all. At first I thought Lois would be kind of stupid to make it. Why would I do that if, like, I'm mean, not role playing or anything, so why would I do that? But then at the same time, I realized that it's actually kind of fun, like, thinking about it and how you could theme your entire, like, you could theme your entire uh, church aesthetic around it. It's very cute. For me, it's the same as people that use animation to tell their stories. Yeah, 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 I agree, I agree. Like, it's just an avatar in the end. VTubing is so you aren't disembodied voice and don't want to show your face. Yep, yep, exactly. That's my stance on quote-unquote the VTuber community. I don't see it as a an entire community in itself. I see it as, yeah, like, a face, as a representation of myself. You don't want to reveal your, uh, reveal your backstory so you make your fake one. Uh, I guess I I personally I don't want my mental illness and my depression and PTSD and anxiety and all that shit. I don't want that shit to define who I am. But yeah, I make self-deprecating jokes about it, right? Like uh, taking jabs at myself because haha, funny, making fun of myself, right? But I don't want uh, to. The depression to define me and my content that that's not what i want it to be uh with that being said let's watch this video and see what it actually is about oh this is gonna be fucking interesting i don't even fucking know what the hell i'm doing this is a rant okay this is not some freaking sunny v2 bullshit okay yo and here I'm we are reacting to the void of the internet after my long hiatus I'm here to digitally hold a VTuber community against the wall by its throat and let you all know how <laughs> being a toxic for the past two years makes me want to blast old school melody. It's kind of silent, isn't it? Yeah, like I'm a troubled kid in high school again. Aside yeah, from make a for you guys. attempt to let my own voice be heard about how badly this community has further fucked up my mental health as well as others, uh, I also genuinely want this to be a warning to anybody who has plans regarding to becoming a VTuber because I wish I knew this shit like two years ago. So uh, let's talk about it. Just to clear this up right off the bat, uh, when I say VTuber community, I'm not talking about viewers who like watch our content. I'm talking about the community the of VTubers itself. creators, mainly on Twitter. I, I, I refuse to call it X. Elon can fucking fight me. Legit. All existing, Agreed. talking, and posting in a bubble amongst themselves. Interacting with each other more than the average viewer. I joined the VTuber community in October of 2021. That is two long fucking years of watching the mask slip. While my content creation has been on and off throughout the current length of my streaming career due to health and schooling complications, I have always done my best to stay involved with the community itself uh, up until recently. They made me feel included. They were always boasting about how they wanted to shout out new VTubers and give them a platform and how they supported minorities and how they were boasting about the community was so open and caring and you know, all this amazing stuff. Uh, uh, just, just to realize that it was all fake. Of, of course, course it is! As many people as possible in order to climb the chaotic Jenga tower that it is to be a successful VTuber. Long of course it is! In the end, everyone cares the most about themselves. That's just human nature. The brain is literally wired to protect itself, right? The brain is literally wired to protect itself. So of course you want to take care of yourself, even if you don't admit it to yourself. Of course you want to be public choice theory. Public choice theory? What was that? Test? You're here hidden. Hey. Um, so... Yeah, lo 
lost my thought process there. Long story short, this community doesn't care. They don't. Who they need to step on or step over to get more followers. You're I heard, I heard so much about how a lot of VTubers say that they see or like they feel like this community of VTubers. Which it's not. Guys, this, is, this isn't a community. You know how many VTubers there are at the moment? We are not a community. I'm sorry to tell you. Like, yes, I really look up to Iron Mouse, Shy Lily, Bao. I love them. But we are not in the same community just because we're both use, using an avatar. Is everyone who uses a face cam in a face cam community because of that? Like, what the fuck? Public choice is often used as a shorthand for components of modern public choice theory. The focus is on how elected officials, bureaucrats, and other government agents can be influenced by their own perceived self-interest when making decisions in their official roles. Oh, oh brain is not braining. Modern... Uh, I, I'm sorry, my brain is not burning with that right now. I'm so sorry. Probably sitting here going, but Zyla, that's the internet in general. Mm. And yeah, you're right. <laughs> but the reason why I'm pointing this out is because the VTuber community has itself up on a high horse. They're claiming to be the exception of this bad they're behavior not. when they're actually the example. Before we get further into this, I do want it to be known that I will not be doing any name dropping, going into specifics on certain VTubers or events, for examples, uh, because this is a community issue, and I don't want to. Like, I don't know if I will call call what I'm about to say a VTuber issue, but I I kind of have like seen a little bit of this too, like where. Some streamers I interacted with before, we've raided each other before, where they had stopped, like, interacting with me at all. Like, for whatever reason, I don't know. They do them, I do me. We're, like, not forced to interact, right? But suddenly, when I was getting more viewers now again, before I had, like, an average of, like, what, six to eight viewers, and now... You guys see the view what we always count right now, right? And then they suddenly started reading again, and I'm just thinking, hmm, could this be because of the sudden higher number? Uh, not talking, but a uh, uh, right. Which is like, hmm, okay, like that's fine. That's fine. It's whatever. You do you. It's just like, I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, it could be because of it, or it could not be, but it's likely it could. Single anybody out. So you will have to take all of this with a grain of salt. It is all this business is in the end. It is, We're and there's nothing That's wrong with it. Whatever, we good? So let's just get into like the overall entitlement issue. I know it's been said before, but I do genuinely think a very large part of the community has this idea that if they spend a lot of money on a hat, 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 hat bro. <laughs> I know what she's about to say. A lot of money on, on a, a hot VTuber. Ass VTuber model with big booba, they would be an instant success. That's that's what I addressed before we watched the video too, right? Like. The VTuber, the, your avatar, your model is not your content. Don't waste hundreds or thousands of dollars if you barely even streamed before. Do not do that. I mean, your money is yours, right? But it's still a waste of your money. Like, why would you do that? And then there's a lot of people, like a lot of VTubers, who spend that amount of money, the hundreds and thousands, on the expense of VTuber models with the thousands of toggles and different angles and head turns and whatnot. And then they graduate because VTubing wasn't for them after all, or they didn't get as successful as they thought they would be. Like, you gotta, you gotta put the work behind other stuff too. 
you can't just stream, 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 stream and think something's ever going to change. You got to make content outside of streaming. If you're not using your stream to make content outside of you streaming, then why are you streaming? What? Then, oh no, 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 no. I take that back. The last one I take back. Not the why are you streaming. Why do you expect to grow if all you do is literally yap in front of a screen to like two of your friends watching? Right? Like, if you just want to have fun, sure, but don't expect to grow. Do not expect growth out of nothing. You gotta work your ass out of it. And I get that it's, it can be really hard to work on, right? I, I fucking get that. It is mentally draining, and it cost me already, like, a burnout on multiple occasions in those past months where I had... A little bit of burnout for a few days and shit. But if all you do on other platforms, like on your Twitter, is 90% of your posts are going online, don't fucking waste your time like that. Do not waste your time if you actually want to grow. Work. Actually, do research. Work. Make bigger content. That's an Asmongold quote. Did I quote Asmund by mistake? <laughs> How would you describe your journey until now? Uh, my journey until now t depends on what we define my journey because content creation has for years been a dream of mine. <laughs> Asmund Simp. I am an Asmund Simp. <laughs> what did I say? Wait, wait, wait. What did I say? I, I didn't even realize. <laughs> I actually didn't even realize I said something as much. <laughs> I said the Esmond Gold. You said the Esmond Gold? Being a fairy is a fetish. Be careful of those suckers. Is it that? Hidden from Thus and One gifted a tier one subscription to Samshi underscore. <laughs> Thank you, Sushi. So you need a beard plus pen. <laughs> sushi is exist. Oh, that's why you kept asking for Sushi. I would use free Bongo Cat model from free webcam programs. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's also a point I wanted to make. You guys see the model I'm using? My model cost 30 euros. This model right here, I'm using the model, this model that has so many expressions, it cost me 30 euros. This one is, you can get it on Etsy and you can customize the way you want it to look. That's how I have so many toggles. That's why I can change my hair. That's why I can change my hair. That's why I can bring out glasses and shit, right? Oh, that's why I can go bald too. <laughs> this model is insane. Yeah, it's only 30 euros because you can customize it. The gradient on itself, I edited. I edited the textures for it. The creator of this model, Azuyani, I believe her name is. I always get it wrong, but I think it was Azuyani. She made this model for over half a year. She worked on this for over half a year and put it on Etsy and there, she has thousands of sales on it because it is such a great model. Like, honestly. Now you're really through thinking streaming in a bad way that you don't want to do it or in a good way? Because if I just, like, scared you off of streaming, if you just want to stream for the fun of it, go for it. Like, literally go for it. But if you want to make it a career out of it, you gotta put your work in. You can be kitty clones, the old rise of the kids. Yes, you could be. <laughs> kids are clones. You could be, you could be. Actually, it's 30 euros. But the gradient, I I edited it in myself. Doesn't that see a bit of risky? Uh, depends. Depends, depends. You know, thousands of views, subs, diehard fans, and being set for life, even if they deny it. 
that's what they thought. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with wanting to do content creation as a job, but you need to be uh, It's in the about, about section. It. And a lot of VTubers just aren't. It's in my credits. It's credited. The link is below. Actually. A little information about me. I personally became a VTuber because I was fucking lonely. <laughs> I was in a dark place in my life, and I thought, you know, if I that's a lot of I the VTubers though. myself to play games, do art, the things I enjoy, while you know having some people around and not being alone. <laughs> um, you know, a fun way to force myself to be productive again, and it worked for a while. Other people, however, it seems that once they realize that expensive of VTuber model doesn't always equal success right off the bat, they suddenly got real fucking angry at anybody who was doing well. We're Ugh. talking genuinely wanting to see people fail or get hurt. Wow. It almost felt like, to them, watching a bigger streamer fail meant that their audience would come down to the people with less viewers, when that's not how that works at all. You still need a good personality and the drive to you post still need content. content. You dumb Yes! But, but really though, like, Absolutely, they yes. actively hope that bad things will happen to bigger streamers. Like, wow. They'll go off on rants about how they don't think so these people up. deserve the following they have. And you know, usually the one bitching about how unfair it is being the one who doesn't, doesn't put the content, work in, post other platforms, yep. or does anything to build their audience aside from bitching on Twitter. Forward. Okay. But, you know, I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. I've seen people go as far as to cry that big corporate VTubers are all assholes and terrible because they don't bring on small right. streamers for collapse. Right. You know, let random people you don't mm -hmm, know onto your mm -hmm. stream and just hope that they don't do or say anything to get you in trouble with oh i don't know twitch your partners video mm. corporation your sponsors you know yeah you know that sounds like a fantastic idea i'm what? sure that won't backfire at all i mean let, let's just be honest with ourselves here they usually stream with other big streamers because those people also have a lot to lose if they piss off the platforms they stream on yep they can usually trust other big streamers to act professional or at least what's considered professional in a VTuber setting. <laughs> because for them, that is their job. Besides, why the fuck would anybody want to hang out with some random person they don't know who's demanding rather rudely that they are somehow entitled to your time and space? I know I fucking wouldn't. Like, block, bye. Like, what? It's not being mean, it's being realistic and having boundaries. Actually. And besides, you all sitting here yelling about how mean and terrible big streamers are for not rolling out the red carpet for a person they don't know. Don't act like you're some innocent fucking victim. <laughs> Actually. You look dumb. Because it is be- Uh, let's- let's go back on the uh, story of the collabing, right? This isn't specifically a VTuber only. This is also a lot of people thinking if you collab your automatic friends which i i disagree with i i see it more as of colleagues kind of thing like for me to build a friendships i i, I got to know the person first because we streamed once together doesn't doesn't mean we're friends now like, if we vibe together, we can vibe together again. Maybe we can collab together again. Uh, but that doesn't mean we're automatically friends, or you should even expect to get a friendship out of it. Collabs are like a fun... Collab! <laughs> you know? A collaboration between creators. Temporary business partnership. Yeah, exactly. That, that's a good description of it. I mean, I've been gaming all the time, but I don't think I could make any type of content. It takes... I don't want to say it takes a special kind of person to create content, because I don't want to describe myself as that, right? Because I don't fucking know how I got here. Like, yes, I put in work, and I try to put in my... A lot of work. But at the same time, I, I still feel like, like, where did y'all come from? <laughs> <laughs> like, I appreciate every single one of you, I really do, but at the same time, I'm really, like, thinking... Why are you here? I I'm just a silly, stupid fox girl who yaps at the internet. <laughs> Yapping is interesting to listen to, to be fair, no offense. <laughs> oh, no, no, no offense taken. But that's what I find so interesting, that people actually think that my yapping is interesting and intriguing. Well, I'm literally just usually uh, spout bullshit out. Well, not quote unquote bullshit, but like I, I spout shit out without thinking. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's so weird. There's so many, honestly. 
<laughs> we dropped in one day like children in an orphanage. <laughs> Got drawn in by bestness. Ah, oh, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> Female Esmond Gold. Yes! <laughs> yes, we love Esmond here. Beyond clear that you only want to stream with these bigger creators to build a following for yourself off their back. You just want to use them. It genuinely does feel like every other person in this community has main character syndrome and they somehow think they're entitled to other people's time, space, money, and energy. Uh, speaking about that, let's talk about boundaries or the lack of them. This does tie oh. into the last point, but it does need its own section because holy fuck. That's sudden wall goal. No, thank you. I've played enough wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. The VTubing scene is some form of speed dating. The speed dating? Wait, 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 wait. I was reading chat and responding. Hold up. Let's roll it back. Your yapping is based. Oh, thank you, Toast and Carrie. That's an interesting name. Thank you, thank you. Edin, you can be my <laughs> I need mental stimulation to go through all my jobs. Oh my god, I feel that. That's... I watch Grace and that to me when I'm working on commissions. It helps me concentrate. <laughs> My friend will kindly pass. Also, regarding the wild guild, I'm sorry. I, I was the leader of the guild once, never again. Never again. Like, I enjoyed it, but it's so much work. It is so much work. And I do enjoy WoW. At the moment, I'm not, I'm not playing it, though. Waiting for the next expansion, to be honest. Point, but it does need its own set. Even more so, I'm waiting for the next Final Fantasy expansion. <laughs> Hexagonus McConnell, that probably that one is actually that one is actually true. <laughs> so I really, really like, the thing is, I really like really want to just say fuck college because it's so much more pain than it's worth. Like, what do I do instead of the problem right now? Ah, uh, I feel that. I never went to college myself. Like, I literally always went, like, what the fuck do I do with my life? Uh, like, I finished, I finished my um, A-level and all. I had 13 years of school. And afterwards, I was just working uh, fucking call center jobs. Until I got so mentally ill that I am no longer uh, seen fit to be working. Officially, by a doctor. Woo! <laughs> Yay me! College is a scam, probably, actually. Uh, right, so... The fuck did she say? Hello, peeps? Hello, Esther, what up? Let's talk about boundaries, or the lack of Yay! This does tie into the last point, but it does need its own section, because holy fuck. The amount of motherfuckers who think that the VTubing scene Yo, Wolfie. is some form of speed dating... Holy shit. Is Insane. Oh, how does their control F here? This actually has so much more weight on it with a fucking what's his name? Tora of kind of bullshit that came out recently. Have you all seen that? Like the tiger guy VTuber? Holy shit. Just here to say hi. I have to study a lot. Oh shit. Good luck, good luck. Like, why are you here? What? Go on OkCupid okay and creep people out over there, okay? Legit. At least they expect it there. And I'm not talking yeah. about pure social viewers here. I'd actually prefer that over this bullshit. Imagine <laughs> actually, this. Actually, okay? though. Uh, you interact with another streamer. You get along, kind of hit it off. Maybe you have a few calls and servers oh, with other streamers. Oh, you both with, oh, you know? Have a good time and you finally decide, hey, you're pretty chill. I either consider you a friend or at least a very somewhat trusted. How mentally ill do you need to be in a new country? My country doesn't have that system, I believe. Uh, I live in Germany. And I got diagnosed with PTSD, anxiety, and depression. That's... Uh, that's how bad it is. <laughs> I guess. That's how bad it is for me. I like severe cases of those. You a friend or at least a very somewhat trusted mutual? Let's do a collab together. Then suddenly... This person decides that that means you want to date them. Oh, you, uh -huh. a streamer, collabing with another streamer, basically the equivalent of a group. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. That's fine. This can be anyway. That you want to date them. My voice died at that. It's so stupid. <laughs> this is the kind of bullshit you would go to HR for. 
And the next Maybe thing you know, you're also telling all your you VTuber might, friends you you that other VTubers feed into their delusion, and they won't take no for a fucking answer because, oh, but we get along so well. Oh, and we some great thing But you don't want to lose a friend, or you don't want to cause drama, and you're thinking, this is just a misunderstanding. They don't mean any harm by this. We'll just talk it out. It's fine. So you try to be civil about it. It keeps going downhill for three fucking months wow. until it gets so uncomfortable and toxic that you just cut them off completely. And now it's like she's speaking from personal experience. Holy shit. If she does, I feel so sorry for her. Holy shit. That is horrible. I haven't had many collabs yet, right? I like two, three at max. I don't many, not many at all. And um, thankfully the people I collab with all awesome. All awesome. I'm very sweet. But actually, there was this one guy that recently got a call out on Twitter for being creepy and, um, well, not paying his artists uh, correctly. Where uh, that dude did message me on Twitter to be friends and collab at one point and shit. And like, personally, I I instantly got like some eggs. At first I was like, yeah, sure. Okay. At first I was like, yeah, sure, here. You can join my Discord if you want. Go on. But just, just a few days in. Um, I noticed... That he was only in it for himself, and he was he was giving me the 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 ick, as people say nowadays. So I I quickly just kicked him out, blocked him, gone, done. Remembered. Then I saw the discourse about him some days ago, and was like, oh yeah, dodge the bullet. I'm not following this. Can someone explain? We're basically just watching a video about why I left the VTuber community. A warning to new VTubers. Uh. And just talking about the related topics to that. So, yeah. that That's a gross summary of it. <laughs> I have the same shit as kids. ADHD and I... Oh yeah, I also have ADHD. <laughs> I also do have that. <laughs> I consider it fit for work. My anxiety isn't that bad though. My anxiety is really bad. It's a social anxiety to the point where I sometimes cannot leave the house or when meeting or thinking about like going up to people, I uh, go into a state of panic. That That's how bad my anxiety is. Like, uh, so bad that at times, most of the times, 90% of the times, I cannot get myself to call anyone, to write anyone an email. It is so bad. <laughs> that That's how bad my anxiety is, IRL. Thankfully, the internet, and uh, like having the VTuber model here makes things a little bit easier. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very thankful for VTubing, actually. Like, I am very thankful for this being a thing. A lot of people that stream I watch somehow have ADHD. Um, ADHD is more on the rise nowadays because people have become more aware of it. But also a lot of people misdiagnose ADHD. Hi, Witz, you look so pretty today. The model hasn't changed. <laughs> I did my hair specifically the same way I always do today. <laughs> now suddenly, you're the bad guy. Yeah, it's also pretty common. Your with somebody who wouldn't take no for a fucking answer is suddenly posted all over Twitter. People are, for some reason, demanding you explain to them why you said no. All right, Ugh, then, then you do that you owe okay, them an answer. six more times in eight months, okay? Doesn't God. sound fun, right? And for full transparency, this is not my personal experience, but the frequency that I've watched this happen in my own circle and the community okay, at large okay. is a uh, <laughs> disgusting. And this hidden from the sun one just shared five bits. <laughs> Hello, Bitsu, you look gorgeous today. XD. <laughs> Thank you. I especially like I said that my hair the same way I always do. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. This bullshit with people trying to turn every person they stream with into a dating sim, yeah, then yeah, going yeah, on yeah. nice girl slash guy TM on them, genuinely does get to the point where it's harassment in some cases. And I'm bringing this up because this is almost normal in the community. Jesus, it constantly. And that that I haven't been exposed to that yet. As normal. I don't no, know I about you, but I'm here to make content, not deal with this 
fucking preschool Legit. drama. True. Lack of boundaries true, true. doesn't end with that. Love bombing's a huge issue in this community. Oh my god. I never once went into any interaction with the idea of using someone. Every person that I've called a friend, I do genuinely see them as friends. Even if we don't communicate anymore. So yeah. when I found out just how common it was in this community to just tell people what they want to hear. Of course oh, we're God. friends. I love you. You're like family to me. Just to disappear and use people as stepping stones or throw them under the bus the second they're no longer convenient. Broke my fucking heart. Because there's some genuinely great people here. I have never seen this be such a constant issue in any other community I've been in aside from VTubing. And this shit's a two-way street. You aren't going to be super close or even friends with every single person you collab with. That's just how it is. It's uh, a job for a lot of people. Yes, a lot of people uh, need to yes, learn yes, that if yes. someone doesn't want to interact with you further than a work relationship, you need to fucking respect that. But you can't just pretend to be someone's friend either. It is a very normal and well-known occurrence in this community that people are just gonna, you know, befriend each other, let them open up, just to leverage what they can use against them later on. Both sides oh, are very fuck. shitty. Honesty is a very unknown concept in the Underdark known as the VTuber community. Motherfuckers got me rolling for insight five times a day. Okay, listen, li listen, listen. You Oh my god, I'm gonna- Before she even starts talking about this, right? Using minority and world issues for Claude. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh, this one makes me mad. This one makes me mad, right? I've seen so many VTubers and Twitter people and artists. Move the mouse out of the way. Just a post like, uh, support Israel, support Palestine, support the Ukraine. Well, I don't really see anyone really writing support Russia, but uh, let's not get into politics here. Let's not get into the politics of this. I'm, I'm just talking about the, the context of it. We're talking about the context, not the, the politics itself. We're, uh, not the context, the, the, like the, the above the context, like what they're using for it, right? <laughs> like. They're legit using it for clouds. There was... I've talked about this one before. Like, when I was starting out on Twitter, like, November, December-ish, right? When I was, like, getting back into content creation and starting, like, getting into YouTubing and all that shit. I had, like, a mutual artist who, um... Like, that was also at the start of the... Eight... Want to say it was the Israeli slash Palestine war? I I think it was that one. I don't think it was the Ukraine oh, one. Yeah. I don't think it was the Ukraine one. I think it was the Palestine slash uh, Israeli war at the moment. I think that's what it was. And how they said uh, they're doing arts and donations for to donate money. Like they're collecting money for them for like to support it, to uh, donate it. And they made like a few posts about that for a couple of days, maybe two weeks. Don't remember exactly the time spent all that. But suddenly the person said, hey guys, I'm so sorry to let you all know, I lost my wallet. So instead of donating the money for uh, the good cause, I need to use the money for myself because they lost the wallet. <laughs> guys, 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 I want, I want you guys to listen to me. They got money donated, most likely via PayPal. PayPal. But they lost their wallet. Excuse me, are you walking around with your wallet with all your uh, fucking possessions? I don't even use cash anymore. Who the fuck uses cash nowadays? 100%, I 100% believe that that guy just didn't want to donate money and that he was using it for card for his own interest. 100%. I blocked that motherfucker. He lost his wallet, so there's a perfect reason for fraud, right? Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. What will not stop Europeans? Must uh, stop believe that the rest of the world is like Europe. Also lost my wallet, chat. Money, please. <laughs> yeah! Chat, 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 I lost my wallet. Please, I need the money. Please, please, please. All the money uh, I, I, I need on PayPal right now. Because all my money was in my wallet. Uh, and 
I'm not gonna lie. Whenever I I hated before this so much, right? I hated when people nonstop like post shit on Twitter about oh the wars and political issues like that. About sorry, my my uh, my <laughs> I'm connecting to chat, Lamo. I hate it, and I will block you on Twitter if I see you make posts about we need to support this right the fucking now. Because you are just a random ass fucking VTuber with a following of 50 or 100. You're doing it for cloud, not f for yourself. You're a VTuber from America or from Europe. Nothing to do with Israel or Palestine, but you say we need to support them. You got n you you don't even know half of the shit that's going on there. I don't talk about that shit because I don't know what's going on there. I don't talk politics because I don't know about politics. I'm so uneducated. I don't want to raise my voice about it. But if I see you use that shit for cloud, I I will block you. I have so many people blocked because they just use politics for cloud. I, I can't with that. I don't want to use Twitter for politics. I use Twitter for advertisement for my fucking VTubing on, for art. I, I use it for, for my Twitch and for art. That's what I use my social media for. I, I don't want to go on the internet and hear about war. Like, generally, fuck off. Like, ugh. Literally artists and VTubers making posts like, if you don't support X a country, don't even talk to me. Like, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you in your first world country even talking about it? Holy fucking shit, you make me mad. Listen, listen. I joke about it here and there, but I don't make it a big part of my content. So I'm saying this right now, okay? I'm a woman kisser. Okay. Okay. We'll talk about this. Fair. You know, I'm not gonna lie. For the first half a year or so, I felt pretty safe as an LGBT girly in the VTuber community. Uh, that Fair. is until some mutuals of mine and myself started to notice a few fucky wucky things going on. It became very apparent okay. that what seemed like support started <laughs> to <beautiful>. stink <laughs> bad. Kind of like that stack of dishes in your depression room. I started to notice a very large oh, no. amount of people that only had something to say about minority or world issues as long as it was trending. Legit! And they could attach a bunch of hashtags to it. You know, using Legit. their minority mutuals or friends as clickbait for clout during months dedicated to a certain group, mm -hmm, only to then mm -hmm, use those mm -hmm. same posts to cover up their own bad behavior later on. No, Twitter officer, I can't be a bad person. I tweeted on November 15th of 2022 that homophobia is bad. Therefore, anything I did or said afterwards doesn't count. The part that really <laughs> pisses me off, though, is the constant habit of talking over minorities and telling us what we should be upset about. Now, this has been brought up in oh communities. In That's VTubing, what we were talking about earlier. I'm going to speak on the side of LGBT Ugh. here because it's not my place to speak about the race issues since I'm... Okay, anyways, there have been <laughs> numerous was... occasions now where an issue involving the LGBT community has come up with a streamer doing or saying something shitty. And while I do genuinely believe that terrible behavior should be called out, that's not what this is anymore. I have no, seen it's so not. many times now, someone will get accused Activist of being an asshat, legit, legit. they provide evidence against it, and yet the VTubing community just pretends they don't see the evidence. <laughs> that, if I don't look at it. <laughs> that is legit the thing we watched in the ref video earlier and talked about earlier. Like, holy shit, she's bred, she's breadable? Yes. <laughs> yes. That is legit what we talked about earlier, where people that weren't even trans or anything told trans people how to feel about Hogwarts. <laughs> holy shit, I can't with those people. Thank you so much for the sub! Ninja Man 487 the Prime just sub. subscribed hey. with Prime. Welcome! Thank you! We should be angry about Goblin shows. We should! It doesn't exist. This post can't Obviously. bother me I can't read. You know that kind of bullshit? Because why admit that you might be wrong when you can just feed into the mass rage and get easy followers from it? Or even yes. worse, there have been times where members of the LGBT community itself will say, Hey, you know, it's okay. We don't think it's offensive. It's not that big a deal, guys. And then suddenly we're being turned on 
by the people who apparently care about us so much uh, while they're sitting over there sending death threats in the name of our community. Yeah! Okay, that makes shit fucking worse. Uh, yep. You aren't helping us. But that doesn't matter because the point of you doing this isn't because you want to help, is it? And while a lot of people acting like this in the community that I've noticed are not LGBT, there are that definitely is... LGBT people who jump on this. And I They're want always to say not, something yes. directly to you, okay? Everything else aside real fast. Um, I get it. I understand. The world is shitty for us it right is. now. Especially for our trans friends but, and family. People online yes. can try to ignore it or say that we're overreacting, but 140 anti-trans bills is not something we're exaggerating. Rising violence and homicide against people just trying to live their lives is very real. You have a right to be upset. You should be upset. I am too. But- the issue here is that misdirecting it is causing more harm than good for everyone involved. And I, I do really think that's what it is. I think that the reason why you're joining in on this anger with people who are using our community for cloud and rage bait is because you're scared. You are rightfully scared and angry, but you don't have the ability to direct that at people who are actually causing the harm. So it's getting taken out on a different outlet. It's getting taken out on people who have nothing to do with the shitty decisions being done. Yep. It's getting taken out on people playing certain video games or watching shows or listening to certain music. The world is shitty. People need to have a little bit of ignorance to enjoy things and not be depressed constantly. And yeah, that's okay. Let people as play long games. As they're self-aware and they're not actively making excuses for bad behavior, that's fine. It is not the be-all tell-all to decide if someone's a good person or not. I mean, Disney was an absolute piece of shit, but I'm not going to sit here and accuse someone who went to Disneyland for a vacation that they agree with all of his old opinions. There it is, I yes! Stop having a deep love for the movies that I grew up with. Yeah. I can point out and admit that they're real shitty in some cases, but watching them doesn't mean that I condone the assholes who made them. And again, yep, the most yep, viewed yep. videos that I have personally seen that are flat out going, you can't play this game or watch this movie or listen to this music because that'll make you a bigot. They're not usually LGBT people. They're um quote unquote allies and it grinds my fucking gears. Not only do these rage tweeters not give a flying fuck. I don't consider myself an ally, but in the context of that I don't accept the term ally, I think Personally, me personally, I think it's a stupid term because to me, you're just another person. There's nothing wrong with you, right? I support you. You do your thing. I have absolutely nothing against you. You do your fucking own thing and I do my thing. You need, need pff, Ella, you mean normal people? Huh? Yep, exactly. That's exactly what I mean. That's my point. People are harmed by trans... Gender ideology, the operations are dangerous and people aren't told about the dangers of it. Uh, do you more mean Twitter freaks? Also, uh, I have no idea what exactly you're referring to in that case, but I also do not wish to start a discussion about that because I'm not too educated on that. I have respect for you and your free will as a human being. Yes, that that's how it should be. Some say card and on number one, but this is often still not the case. I don't care what you are, just don't touch my food. There, yeah, 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 yeah. Like you do you and I do me. Done. About us or our community, but they're just giving actual bigots a bigger fucking target. Okay. We all knew that this was coming. Again, Eating each other alive for clock. Yay! tie into all the other points I've made, but this doesn't get its own subsection like the rest of them because what the flying fuck, you guys. I have been on the internet no, for not more. than I should have been. I have been in countless communities. I've made art and content for other fandoms, groups, websites. I've been everywhere. I was on Tumblr during the Sonic Social Justice era. I watched oh, that Jesus. all go down. And the FNAF artist who shall not be named. <laughs> I have seen shit, yet I have never, never, seen another community that tears itself apart from the inside out to the extent that I've seen the VTuber community do. All Legit, as I said, a lot of people say that it feels like a high school to them, and from an outsider's perspective, yeah, it, it does fucking look like that with certain, like, like those sub-communities within the VTuber culture. It certainly does look like it. It's so fucking crazy. Holy shit, the amount of drama that just pops up on Twitter because it's trending is crazy. 
Why does every Kitsu video end up with cannibalism? I don't know! It's not on me! Moon, behave yourself. <laughs> While being so fucking giddy about it. Now, you may have heard the term VTwitter before. VTubers oh, yes. who hardly stream and spend all of their time oh, and on they're just Twitter. waiting with foam at the mouth to grab any piece of drama they can. And like I said before, the point of them doing this is jump on any issue or drama that's being talked about so they can make a post going, Well, I would never do that. Look at me. I'm such a good person. You should follow me. And this type of clout chasing got dangerous really fast because... It went from calling out legitimate it's terrible behavior humans in Japanese folklore. I have not heard about that one at all. People's lives and I read up a lot about it. For like five extra followers. I have seen on more occasions than I have fingers on my hands at this point, situations where a VTuber has been accused of something. And no matter what the situation is, no matter how big or small it is, people not only instantly believe it without needing any evidence at all, but treat the issue as if the streamer flat out fucking killed someone regardless of the severity of it. Death threats to them, their family, Yay! their friends, harassment, doxing! doxing fucking name is. I recall one situation where that started happening to somebody over being accused of stealing a design from someone <gasps> simply for having oh similar God. color palettes. For fuck's sake. When you I fucking can with that. I have seen so many of those posts that this VTuber looks like Shine Lily. Oh, she's a dolphin and a cat. Oh, she took that concept from Shine Lily because Shine Lily is an orchid and a cat. Oh, woo! Oh, this person looks like a cat with a ghost tail. Oh, it's a stolen design from an enclosed species, quote unquote, that people made up on deviant art because. People think they can make up anything and copyright it without actually properly copywriting shit. Because guess what? Nothing's original. Everything's made up. Everything is a mix and rearrangement of everything. Those species can fucking die. They really can. Like, you're gatekeeping. You're ca gatekeeping a, a species that... Not even gatekeeping, like, it's not even gatekeeping. You're trying to make money off of it. In one case, I, I see, on the other hand, I can see why they would want it to be enclosed so other people wouldn't use the design for things. But a lot of people just do it for the money. Gatekeeping, what is that? <laughs> is Kitsuna the most used VTuber model? Kitsuna? No, I would say cat girls. Cat. I, I would definitely say cat girls. I think cat girls are way more common than, than foxes. And I liked foxes before they were cool. My favorite animal was a fox ever since I was a kid. Nakomimi, yeah. People nowadays try to come up with so many. Random designs. It's like, ugh. there's always so much things you can do, right? Like, oh shit, me and this other VTuber have a similar design. I'd go like, holy shit, you look so cute. But someone else would go like, must destroy them. Can't wait for Kitsu to be replaced by a randomly generated content in two years. No, we don't love AI. <laughs> I want my state given cat girl. <laughs> there are even people with a kids AI art. Uh, yeah, I saw that earlier and I said that I don't condone that. And then they stopped. Which, uh, thank you very much. I do not condone AI art. I hereby declare that I owe the copyright on kids. I don't question it, don't check it, just believe me. <laughs> That was me, not nuts. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know that that's you. I don't know the name. Like, you're called Lola. <laughs> on Discord. That's not on me. <laughs> that's not you. <laughs> People are like sheep of uh, one jumps somehow, they all will sometimes. Yeah, I change it up in Discord. Oh, you change it then. Uh, 
before I could see that. I don't fucking Create know. This type I don't know how to speak. Where you want to be in the majority's favor so that you can get easy followers, you need to be mad with them. <laughs> Regardless if you think the issue deserves the amount of backlash it's getting or not, that community is no longer safe. They will turn on you in an instant, no questions asked. Your friend can make up a lie about you because you piss them off on a random Tuesday and Yay! tell them you're the next target. Even if you know what's being said isn't true, nothing that you say or show them will matter because they've already decided that you're in the wrong. Nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck that up. Is. I agree that there are terrible people online who need to be called out for their bullshit, uh, mainly to make other would-be victims aware, but that's not what this is anymore. There is one incident that sticks out of my mind about this, and... I'm sorry, but this is going to be vague. I debated okay. on it for a while, but I finally decided that I wasn't going to drag specific people into very this fair, for very many fair. reasons. So again, grain of salt. A rather large VTuber was accused of doing something pretty fucking shitty a few months back. Something that, when I first heard about it, I was upset. I admit that I believed it at first because of just how upset everyone was. And I was sad that another big streamer was copying a jackass because I genuinely don't understand why it's so hard to just not be terrible, you know? <laughs> um, but Whoa. then said streamer came back with proof that they didn't do what they were being accused of. Proof that you could personally check, by the way. Proof Yay. I did personally check, by the way. And they were telling the truth. And that's great. It was a misunderstanding and there isn't another jackass in the community. That's great. That's a good thing, right? And not really. Not only did the VTuber community on Twitter just completely always? ignore the proof, they mm, pretended it just flat no. out didn't exist so that they could stay mad. Or even more asinine, people claimed that the proof didn't matter. I even watched someone go as far as to just flat out make up random quotes the streamer never said. Wow. That the community on Twitter would then share I don't know around because no one she's bothers referring to check the way. I got no idea. But that's the game. I'll, they I don't, don't think check I've their seen sources this drama. because they don't care. They Unless... ignore the evidence because they want to. Uh, no, pick whichever no, I don't side think so. helps and gets more followers at the moment, not who's actually in the right. The lack of morals disgust me to no fucking end. So I left. Huh? About eight months ago, I deleted Twitter from my phone. Oh, that's fair. I went on to post things here or there, like maybe once every two months. Don't check my feed. Blocked VTuber tags on TikTok. You name it. Oh, because wow. I'm, I, I'm done. I'm done with the toxic fake positivity to lure people in to use just when it's convenient. I'm tired of them I think she's going a little bit too far there. Your world issues they don't actually care about just to get new followers. I'm tired of the yeah. boundaries, the constant doom and gloom, and the gaslighting if you have the gall to try and bring up that something's wrong. And to be honest, I'm probably going to lose some friends when I post this. Um, but that's okay. I just want to be a virtual is she a Becco? She looks like Not one, yeah. I believe so. This is what I, uh, a show, yes. Now. I believe so. I don't so. even think this will get a lot of views anyways. Um, but I did want my voice to be heard before I walked out because I was honestly scared to say anything before whenever I watched this stuff happen. So yeah, if you want to be a VTuber, do it. <laughs> I'm not telling you not to with this. VTubing is a great way to meet more people like you, being more creative and having fun without having to worry about, you know, real life issues. Because, you know, we all need that escape sometimes. Like I said before, the world sucks. And if you do become a VTuber, please just remember my absolute rant of a warning. Uh, and don't let the uh, VTuber community sorry. drag you down because I've seen them just destroy it's a bit, it's way tired. too many people already. Up, up. So, oh. uh, hey. Hi. <laughs> if you're still here, long time no see, huh? Uh, thank you so much for watching till the end. Uh, you must have a lot of free time. <laughs> spend with me, though. I do have more videos in the works and I plan on coming back to streaming very soon. So if you want to stick around, I'd appreciate it. I promise my other content will not be as bitchy hey, you guys go. Uh, as this video. <laughs> all right. She makes some very good points and all. Come on, Zai. Fuck. Uh, Come on, Zai. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, but my overall opinion on quote unquote the VTuber community is, is that it's not a community. Uh, VTubing is more of an avatar, right? It's an avatar. It's a virtual avatar. Just uh, show yourself off. VTubing should not be your content. Your content should be your content. <laughs>
<laughs> she makes some really good points. I, I really enjoyed the video. Give it a like.